Hey everyone, it's Carrie and Rolling with Carrie. So it is Spina Bifida Month, and I thought that I would tell y'all my Spina Bifida story, or at least what I can remember because it's been some years. But anyway, you don't uh, remember the first day, do you? No, I don't remember the first day, but I've sure been told about my first day on Earth. So tell us about your first day. <laughs> my first day on Earth was, well, let me start before my birth. My mom was a God-fearing woman. She loved the Lord. And so, before I was ever born, they did a couple of tests, and they said I was fine. And so, you know, they told my mom, you're going to have a healthy, healthy baby. And so... My mom had a dream, and she said in her dream that my arm, my arms, my legs were falling through her arms. And she said, Lord, it's okay that you gave me another son, but I don't know how to take care of this one. So he, in her dream, he said, so give him to me. Put him in my hands. So she did. And then came my birth. And I was born with spina bifida on October the 10th. 1979 and yes I'm doing this on my birthday and um so when I was born and they said that I you know she had a baby girl well later on when they brought me to my parents my dad got to looking at my name tag and he said he you know got my mom's attention and said the, these both say male. And then my mom said that she knew right then that God was taking care of me. And that's pretty much my first day on earth. But the very first surgery that I'm sure that I had was my spine bifida surgery where they sew up your back. Um, and I always say it like this. Spina bifida is kind of like your nerves don't connect to the top part, to the bottom part. That's how I've always described it. I must have described it. And that's why I have spina bifida. My legs don't work. Um, so they sewed up my back and then they also put in a shunt. A shunt, well at least back then, was like a little round piece that they would put in your head for fluid on the brain and if they if you don't get the fluid off the brain your head could swell so they did that and they it had a little tube that would go from the little shunt in the head would go all the way down into your belly and then they would it would like they would like coil coil it I guess is what the word I'm looking for and, you know, that way when you grew, it would, you know, stretch out. So that was my second surgery. Within, like, days of being born. And then I've had so many surgeries throughout my life. I've had hip surgery. I've had knee surgery to straighten my knees. Um, hips, both, both of them. I am losing my voice. I have had both hips put back in place. I have had back surgery. I have had bladder and bowel surgery. So many bowel and bladder surgeries. It's too many to count. Um, and I don't really remember any others from when I was a child. Um... But, uh, 2015, I had a surgery, and the surgery didn't really take. And also, when I had the surgery, I also had an infection on board. And surgery and infections do not go well at all. 
So, I got very, very sick. I wound up on a ventilator. And I wound up on a ventilator a couple of times in 2015. And then I wound up having to have surgery for, um, I had a colostomy put in. And I also had a metrophanoff, which is basically you can cath out of your stomach to make it easier, you know, I guess to say get to, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm afraid I got a friend over here helping me out. And, uh, so before I got the surgeries, I was on a ventilator. I was on dialysis for a little while. For like three days, I believe. And I was not in a good place. I was I was in a bad, bad shape. I was at the point to where... Oh, how do I say this? You were starting to lose faith? Yeah, I was starting to lose my faith. And... The way the Lord works is amazing. Because here I am losing my faith and he sends in one of the greatest people in my life right now today. And my friend, I don't know if I want to use his name because I don't know if he would like that. But if he lets, if he sees this and lets me use it, I'll type it down at the bottom. But, um... He came in, and I told him, you know, that I was losing my faith. And he talked to me, and he prayed with me, and he helped me. And I am so grateful for him today. And, let's see. I think I'm about to cry. <laughs> I always cry when I tell that story. It's, you know, it's... It was a bad but good time of my life. <laughs> and let's see, I've had, I had this two surgeries, I had them both together, and I have been able to get rid of caregivers. Um, I've had recent surgeries, which were uh, stone removals, kidney stone removals. And the first <laughs> stone removal was a pretty big shocker um I had they get said two lemons one in each kidney so I had to go through a couple of surgeries to get those taken out and I know that's not really spina bifida related but or maybe I guess you could say it is because I had no clue they were in there because I can't feel and then I've had another surgery recently well, a couple of months ago, that I uh, had another stone removed. Thankfully, it only took the one time. And today, let's. I'm doing good. Um, enjoying life. Have a sore. Sorry, I got a cat coming in. <laughs> I have a sore that I'm trying to heal right now. That's part of spina bifida. You know, when you can't feel. Sores happen. Um, but other than that, that's pretty much my story. Um, so I just wanted to say thank you for listening or watching because you're watching. <laughs> um, so if you wouldn't mind, subscribe and share this, please. Like, please comment. I would love to know what you think. Um, and I think I said subscribe. I can't remember. Hit the notification button and just come along for the ride. So. And don't forget. Oh yeah. And don't forget. God loves you. So I forgot something. Teal, what I'm wearing today, is for spine bifida. And it being Spina Bifida Month and having Spina Bifida, too.